whoa, 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 you don't, you don't want to do this. Oh, I promise you, I do. What have you done? Don't get mad. I borrowed some adamantium from your claws. That's a thing, you can do that. And I made us something special. I'm sure by now you've heard all the rumors about Taylor Swift joining the MCU in this summer's Deadpool and Wolverine movie. Taylor Swift is a shoo-in to play Dazzler. She's basically the same character from the comics, but in real life. Yep, she absolutely dazzles all her legions of Swifties. But is she really gonna be in the movie? And what did Ryan Reynolds have to say about all this? Join me, dear viewer, as I dive back into the dumpster fire that is Disney's Marvel. Oh boy, Disney's Marvel is really knocking it out of the park lately. If by knocking it out of the park you mean racking up flops that redefine the term box office bomb. 2023 gifted us with some of the most spectacular failures in cinema history. The Marvels was just the cherry on top of this disaster Sunday. And who could forget the cinematic Marvel that was Madame Web in 2024? It seems that Disney and Marvel are on a never-ending quest to captivate this mythical audience that, spoiler alert, doesn't exist. Let's be real. Women generally don't like comic book movies. It's like sports. They put up with it because their partners are into it. I remember dragging my ex to see Avengers Age of Ultron. She looked like she was sitting on a cactus, desperately waiting for it to end. But Marvel, ever the relentless suitor, won't stop wooing a female audience that's about as interested as a cat in a dog show. And now it looks like they found their secret weapon. Ryan Reynolds, in his usual cryptic charm, remains as tight-lipped as a clam about Taylor Swift's rumored cameo in Deadpool and Wolverine. When asked... He essentially pulled the old wait-and-see card because, you know, Deadpool movies are just overflowing with surprises. So while the rest of us are biting our nails in anticipation, Reynolds is probably somewhere giggling knowing that our minds will be blown by yet another unexpected twist. Probably involving a cat, a unicorn, and Kevin Feige getting butt-plugged. Classic Deadpool. Now, fans believe that the singer herself might have given the final confirmation that she would be appearing as the Marvel character Dazzler in the upcoming Deadpool 3 -quel. As some of you may know, Taylor Swift dropped her newest album recently, and her fans have been busy parsing through every single song for clues about Travis Kelsey. But they've found something better. As noted by the website The Direct, Fans have taken a line from the song Clara Bow, the final track on Swift's latest album, The Tortured Poets Department, in which she sings, The future's bright and dazzling, as proof positive that the pop star will be appearing as Dazzler in the upcoming MCU project. Oh joy of joys, not only are we blessed with Taylor Swift gracing the screen, but it also conveniently crushes the dreams of those poor souls who dared to think outside the box and suggest she might not be playing Dazzler in Deadpool 3. How utterly surprising. But of course, it's just another day in the life of Taylor Swift, the master of dropping breadcrumbs for her devoted fans. Because, you know, what better way to spend your time than decoding cryptic messages hidden in pop songs? Clearly, that's the pinnacle of intellectual stimulation. Well, isn't that just the cherry on top of the speculation Sunday? We can all sit around twiddling our thumbs, pondering whether Taylor Swift will grace us with her presence in Deadpool and Wolverine. And if so, what groundbreaking role she might undertake? Because, you know, life's too short to focus on actual tangible information, unlike what Ryan Reynolds has been putting out. Oh, but fear not, this tantalizing hint is just the tip of the iceberg in the realm of potential spoilers, because why stop at one juicy cameo when you can dangle a whole bunch of them like carrots in front of a starving horse? Because let's face facts, Marvel fans have been starving since Endgame. And let's not forget the immense pressure on everyone involved to deliver performances worthy of, well, whatever standards the MCU has set for itself these days. Because obviously, being part of a superhero blockbuster is a walk in the park, especially when you're not even an actor by trade. But hey, Swift's got that box office magic, right? I mean, who needs acting skills when you can just ride the coattails of your concert success straight to Hollywood glory? Truthfully, I'm not really shocked that Disney would tap Taylor Swift to revive their dying franchise. They've been chasing female audiences for the better part of seven years. They've tried inserting infallible Mary Sues into pretty much all their movies and failed miserably. 
Golly gee whiz, who knew that people hate movies with characters that have no arc? It's no secret that Taylor Swift is a worldwide phenomenon. Everyone's gone absolutely apeshit over her Eras tour. So why not tap into that fame and fortune to revive a dying empire? At least Ryan Reynolds is having fun with it. This is just further proof that Disney is like a virus, feeding off one franchise after another. They've destroyed Star Wars, they've destroyed Pixar, and they've destroyed Marvel. Maybe they can destroy Taylor Swift's career too. But hey, if conspiracy theories are to be believed and Taylor Swift really is a CIA asset, then it would make total sense for her to be in a Deadpool movie. But what do you guys think about all this? Do you think that Taylor Swift can revive the MCU? And is Dazzler that famous of a character or will Taylor Swift make her famous? Please do let me know down below in the comments and as always hit that like button, ring that notification bell, and smash that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.